Um, first one is from Andrew Richardson in France from um, Innova Feed, and he's asked um, he's asked uh, about kind of the, the fact that well, do do the panelists think that the crisis is going to lead to kind of greater um, you know greater vertical integration in the supply chain? And you, there's actually you know it's quite a shrimp is an extremely fragmented sector, isn't it? And, uh, and that, that you know that's been you know there's been some consolidation, but do you know do do you know do do we think that that might happen more more kind of vertical integration? Uh, maybe I guess Robin's a bigger person to start, seeing as you, you, you know, CP is is the group which is doing that to some extent, and then Jim could, Jim and Jeff could give views too. I think I think in Asia, integration relative to integrating farms into large corporations uh, is difficult. I think that uh, the cost structure is such that a small farmer actually has an advantage over a large integrator, because the technologies are available to everybody. And without the overheads that you have in a corporation, the large, the small farmer can always produce at a lower cost. So it's very difficult for large companies to get involved in the actual farming. They are going to be the ones that supply the technology to those smaller farmers. Okay. Um, yeah, Jeff, do you have a view on that? Maybe seeing as you know, like you are yeah. some, you're, it's a vertically integrated business do you work for. Yeah, I, you know, we're seeing something that might be analogous to vertical integration, and that's a demand all of a sudden from places like Ecuador for for m equipment to value added, peeling machines and so forth. So, you know, where they had been looking at China and head-on shrimp as their major focus, as everybody had said here, that they're, they're looking to diversify. So we may see an integration in the sense that processing companies and farms are able to address more markets directly without going through third parties or going to in, into value adding elsewhere. Um, then, then it really boils down to what, what, what Robin said, is, is more vertical integration if economically feasible in terms of, of consolidation? So. Yeah, interesting. Um, yeah, it's interesting to hear that. It seems like, um, it kind of makes sense on an investment banker's, you know, spreadsheets and thesis, you know, vertical integration is the buzzword, but it doesn't always in practice lead to a better performing business, does it? Um